Yeah, well, you were actually one of the first clubs where I actually did show the flippy floppies too. We sell a heap of them. They've, they've been working incredibly well. Um, a lot of the guys in trailer boats are now trolling them higher by actually having a little breakaway off their rocket launcher, like a, a mini tagline, and they're actually hanging them up high, and they do work a lot better. A couple of the guys were sort of saying, oh, it's too big, it's too long, uh, so we've cut it in half and we won, run half on one side and half on the other. They have actually four segments. And the guys are cutting them in half, so they've actually ended up with two teasers. Certainly during Wahoo season, uh, I don't know what they cost, about 150 bucks, 75 bucks a teaser is a pretty good value. They're absolutely devastating. We sell mainly pink ones, um, but the greatest success is actually on the purple ones and the blue ones. Uh, if you're trolling pink ones, then you troll them pretty much off your outriggers because they're a nice bright light colour. Uh, if you're trolling them off your transom, then the darker colours, the blues and the purples and the blacks are certainly the ones to choose. Okay. Um, it's the same with the lures. Uh, closer to the boat are the darker colours because they're in the whitewash. As you get further back, you go through uh, to the lighter colours. I'll, I'll just run through those quickly for the, for the new guys. Um, closest to the boat, you run black. Uh, black and some combination, any combination you want. This colour is called Billy B. It's been doing incredibly well. Uh, next colour out is blue. Um, quite often this one is called Fallen Angel. It's blue and silver over, once again, pink and orange. Very successful. Then we go out to a purple. Oh, this is a new colour. It's called uh, Purple Storm, uh, Kona Storm. We actually did this back in the late 80s. Um, nobody would buy it. Um, but it's now known as a pretty good colour off the Gold Coast and the Sunshine Coast. So that's Kona Storm. That is one of the new ones. Um, then we go to green, which is, this is Grasshopper. It's actually the, the latest version of our Lumo Sprocket. And it is certainly outfishing um, the, the normal Lumo Sprocket. Another colour that's done very well is Illusion. Uh, it's another Lumo bluey green colour. That's been run off the shotgun, but the colour that really is blitzing it is, is Brad J, uh, this orange and pink. And as I said earlier, it's run off the shotgun, uh, run off the shotgun or the short rigger. Probably the most successful colour off the Gold Coast at the moment for all species, blues, stripes and blacks, which is surprising, which is very surprising. Okay, uh, we make a teaser called the Witch Doctor, which is a deep diver, goes down a few feet. Wobbles a little, doesn't wobble as much as the older versions uh, did because we actually found that by wobbling that much, they weren't really that effective. We toned it down a bit and the new witch doctors are incredibly good. They're never in stock. Uh, off this string that tows the witch doctor, we actually put three flash strips. Yeah, we do uh, dredges with strip flashes on them like everybody else, I guess, it is in the market. You need a, a downrigger weight to troll them effectively. I think they're better being trolled using bait. If you're going to be trolling skip baits or dead baits, I think they're a great teaser for that. Pretty difficult to use when you're trolling lures, I think. That has been highly effective and the most effective system of the lot is deploying your witch doctor first. And the way you deploy your witch doctor is, I like it actually on the long corner side, I actually drop out the cord first uh, and drop it back to where the long corner lure is. Then I pull it in two hand spans, which is around about 10 foot, tie it off, put the witch doctor down there. And then I put the um, flippy floppy just short of the witch doctor, hoping that the wahoo leave it alone and that the mackerel leave it alone and it gets to last a bit longer. Um, and, and it's been pretty effective. Generally, the wahoo just eat the lure, the long corner, and they just leave the teasers alone. So that's a pretty effective way. Um, and I actually do that on both sides of the boat if I've got the crew to do it. Now, how important are teasers? Are teasers more important than lures? Yes, if I was if I was fishing solo, I actually run a full pattern of five rods and four teasers uh, because I'm not that concerned when I hook up. I actually enjoy the hooking up and little black marlin don't go that far. You, in a trailer boat, you actually go forward when you're fighting the fish. There's no need to back up. So you, all you really need to do is move the rods around each other to clear the rods, you don't really need to pull them in until everything settles down. So even short crude, I, I still use the full spread, but if you sort of think you're trolling too many things, then 
perhaps trial three lures and two teasers, and that would be a lot better than just trolling five lures. Teasers are very important. They're very, very effective. Yeah, yeah really, you know, the, the barrel lead's okay, but they still come to the surface too often. If you can keep it down, and the idea of having a dredge really is getting it down around about 12 or 15 foot, which isn't all that practical for lures because you can't have a bait down that far. Um, if they're up near the surface or just under the surface, they're really not doing anything more than a flippy floppy or a witch doctor, uh, which are just a whole lot easier to use than downriggers with weights and, and dredges or, you know, having to pull in a dredge that's got a lot of weight in it by hand is very difficult and the fish gets a really good head start on you. So, you know, they've, they've got their uses, but I, 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 I'm not so sure about lure trolling. Certainly with bait trolling where you're going a lot slower, it's a whole lot easier to pull the dredges in and, and that sort of stuff. But also in the trailer boats, it's very difficult to have somewhere to put the dredge. Um, if you're going to use a dredge, use a 12 inch because it fits in a 20 litre bucket. But the 24 inch and the 36 inch ones are really a pain in the butt on, on, a, on a small trailer boat. Okay. Uh, one of the things about using teasers, is, is anybody there using bait and switch? Okay, we've um, developed the lure. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's called the airhead because there's nothing in the head except air. Uh, these are 3D printed, developed by Peter Morse. Um, you actually put your bait um, in that skirt and that actually fits up tightly into the lure head. And these are actually absolutely deadly and devastating. This is actually one of the first ones we sent away. The guy sent it back because the screw got ruined by uh, Wahoo and he thought it shouldn't. So I said, fair enough, mate, we'll just give you a new one, but don't buy any more because Wahoo will go through skirts. Um, everybody that has bought them has reported that they're very, very effective. We, that's a larger size. We do them in what we call a 10 inch and, a, and an eight inch. Uh, we can do bigger ones if needed. And once again, uh, you'll see that that's the same color Brad J that has been absolutely devastating in the bait and switch lure as well. If you're bait and switching, one of the secrets, and you guys probably know this, and it's a little difficult to do in a trailer boat, is when you're pulling in the teasers, don't pull them in over the side of the boat. Like, don't pull them in over your outriggers. You should run your teasers um, as well as your lures off tag lines because when you pull them into your outriggers, you're actually pulling the fish that's following it to the side of the boat. You pull the teaser out of the way, it'll actually just disappear. If you pull it over the transom, the fish won't go past the transom, it'll actually circle about and stay behind the boat. So just note those things, certainly go into neutral when you're trying to pull a dredge or a teaser over the back of the trailer boat, but then go straight back into gear and get the boat moving once again, okay? It's one of the main tricks of, of the superstars of uh, teaser fishing that they never bring the teasers in over the side or up the outriggers. They actually do run tag lines for their teasers as well. Okay. All right, now doing these webinars is, is really easy for me to do. Um, it's a lot better than spending a day getting ready for a talk, then driving for a couple of hours, spending a night somewhere, then trying to come back and catch up with work. Um, if you're new to fishing or you've got a new crew and stuff and you want to do a Pakula school or something like that, we can actually do it like this through the webinar if you think this is a decent enough medium. Uh, it means you can be comfortably at home or through the club or all that sort of stuff. And we can go through and do the hours you want to, okay? There is a charge for it, that's, it's not much um, for the, what you're gonna gain out of it. These lectures are good, but you know, we can only do a couple of hours at a time. We pick a couple of the topics, so it doesn't get too complicated. And I, and I hope you find this medium effective. Who, who likes this medium in the way we've done it tonight? Can you put your hands up? Is it effective enough? 
Yeah, great. Well, that, that's good to know because then I can do a lot more talks, maybe even do a little 15-minute session at almost any meeting or every meeting. So it's it's a great medium. I've, I've set up the studio to do this sort of stuff. We've got a bunch of cameras and uh, hopefully um, you catch a lot of fish and good luck in your tournaments. And thanks for letting me be a sponsor of your club. It's, it's one of the best clubs that I know of and I reckon it is the best club in Australia. And you guys are doing an absolutely fantastic job and thank you for supporting the brand and the club. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Signing off. Yep. You know, one of the big one of the biggest problems of being a lure maker, and this is for all you young blokes out there who think you want to be a lure maker, when you have a great season like this, you're so busy making lures, you don't get to go fishing. I have yet to get on the water this year. All right. Fantastic. And also, um, on the Pakula Marlin Bar, which is now active on Facebook as well. That's where you can ask questions, get information, and certainly post up your pictures and stuff. Um, the other thing too is with Pakula Tackle, when you buy Pakula Tackle, you pretty much buy a lifetime warranty. Um, guys are surprised when they send me photos of lure heads that have cracked or skirts that have uh, gone stiff and stuff, and they sort of say, you know, can I, can I get this replaced and stuff? And I say, yeah, yeah, that's fine. We'll send you a new one. He goes, how much? I go, no, no, it's still under warranty. So when you buy a Pakula product, the warranty pretty much goes forever within reason. You know, the, our stuff isn't Wahoo proof. It's not totally idiot proof, although we do try our best to do that. And, you know, certain things do affect products. And it's a production product and things go wrong in production. Batches are, are crap. We had uh, with the airheads or actually the 3D lures that we make, we actually had some black ABS that wasn't treated properly when we made it on the machine. It looked fine, but it deteriorated almost immediately within a couple of days and all of those broke. No problem replacing them and we pay the post to replace stuff as well. So when you when you buy a product, it's uh, it's pretty much guaranteed, hopefully to catch fish. We'd like to guarantee them to catch fish, but we can't invent fish. But this year, boy, you're gonna have a good time. There's so many fish along this East Coast in New Zealand and all the way through. Um, but not quite to Hawaii. They're, they're basically on this side of the Pacific and there's thousands of them. So good luck for the season and catch as much as you want and I'll be thinking of you <laughs> while I'm sitting at my desk skirting another goddamn lure. All right. All the best, guys. Thank you. Good night.